16 frontline firefighter jobs have been cut from the Devon and Somerset service. The decision was made at a meeting this afternoon as part of plans to save millions of pounds. The most controversial idea for firefighters to work up to 96 hours in one go has been put on hold though. Spotlight's Andrea Ormsby reports. Today's meeting was always going to be fiery. Plans were on the table to introduce a new working pattern called Day Crude Plus. It would mean shifts of up to 96 hours in one go. That's four days and nights at the station without going home. In the end, all the Devon and Somerset Fire Authority agreed on was to put the decision off. Absolutely fudged nothing. I think we've been really responsible as an authority. We're looking at things retrospectively and actually in a grown-up way. And that's how I'd like to approach this whole thing with the unions. Let's be grown-up about it. We've got to make decisions. We're living in a hard world now. The coalition government has spoken. We have to react. Unions and managers now have another month to find a way of making significant savings. The Fire Brigade Union is adamant the new shifts won't be part of it. I mean, this idea that you get rid of half the whole time workforce and then the remainders would give cover by spending four days at a time living in a fire station. No, we will not be cut back to the Victorian age. Our members are very clear. We're not going to stand by and see our working lives destroyed, our family lives destroyed and our service destroyed. I think the County Council has got that message very clear. The authority says it has to save between eight and ten million pounds in the next four years. One decision to help it on the way to that figure was made today. Sixteen frontline firefighters will go, mostly from Somerset in stations at Taunton, Bridgewater and Yeovil. The jobs will be lost through natural wastage. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Exeter.